that. Yeah, I think I'll do... Oh, if I do Melina, it means I'm fighting a whole bunch more Neckers. I don't know. Do I feel like killing more Neckers, or do I feel like fighting a gigantic beast? Because that sounds infinitely more fun. Passing... Good price... Which is big and this Karan... Ah, yes. Yeah, I've got the potion already. This has some kings... Oh, yes. So, it, killing the Karan won't... Won't continue me on the long... Yeah, I need... It is essentially the first half. I'm gonna go kill the Karan. That sounds infinitely more fun. Go kill a gigantic beastie. It honestly reminds me... Reminded me quite a lot of it's the fish. Kraken oh, no. from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's pretty much the same size and temperament. Um, sadly, I don't have the useful trap to deal with at least one of its portions easily, but no, I want that. Oh no, I need to go to Hawk to City. City. I need to tell her that I am ready to go. Or I need to tell her about the slime. I don't remember. I just need to go talk to her. I am ready to go kill a gigantic monster. Because it will be fun. Probably frustrating because I might... I'm probably going to die a couple times. It is an incredibly challenging fight that I had a lot of difficulty with the first time I played through this game. Um, yes. So... You. Any progress? Yeah, I'm good. Triss claims that Karen was born of magic. She's right. Something that large couldn't possibly evolve in the waters of the Pontar. It looks like the result of some botched experiment. It's growing rapidly and will probably age just as quickly. Oh, that's brilliant. But I'm good to go. So let's go I kill need. some stuff. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairons are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take um. care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land. Yep. I can't imagine a gigantic octopus-like creature being not dangerous. So, I'm going to go down to... just to the bottom. Right before I jump into the actual arena. Because it is... Quite simply, just that. It's a gaming arena. <laughs> um, but, I'm going to save, and I'm also going to chug some potions. So... Nope! Crap. That's not good. I really needed a potion. And it just said game saved. And I don't think I'm going to have time to chug a potion. So I guess I'm doing this without poison resistance, which is going to be a real pain. Assuming I know the answer to this, but yeah. So, no, I don't need that. I need this. Air gun! With the air gun! You come down and 
Tentacles. That's one. It's angry. Watch out. No, I can't imagine getting one of its tentacles chopped off makes it not angry. No. No. Yeah. I'm dead. Very powerful, very big beastie. Okay, let's try take number two. I remember what I'm doing now. Okay. Do I get an option to? No, of course not. Let's skip this. I don't need to see the, the arrival of the creature again. I really didn't need that. Well, I can use that. There we go. Come on! Trap the tentacle onto the ground with Gurdon. And then I wail on it until the pus like the explodes and then I chop it off. Boom! And I just need to do that what, three more times? Yeah. Probably just need to do that about three more times. Dodging the main two tentacles. tentacle immediately. And I was very confused as to what it was. It just didn't, it didn't connect to my brain that I needed to have. I could use my own traps. And I, then I just had to wail on the creature. You are not happy. I can't imagine having like a limb cut off and making and being happy about that. Oh, hi there. Okay. Time to hang on! Oh, and stabbing at the same time. Definitely Shadow the Colossus ask. Hello, big beautiful beastie. Oh! You got squished. You're not dead though, are you? I am, because you chucked a giant rock at me and I didn't see it coming. Fun! Okay. That again. Um, game? Can I push a button? Apparently, I pushed a button. Oh, all right. How about load? I guess we're gonna load.
Uh, got me to the same place anyway. Minor hiccup. And start out. Let's try this again. Push. How many more can there be? There's a lot more. Just got started. One. It's trying to take damage this time from chopping these off. Upset, cranky, and whiny. Bashing at the bridge. Let's this again. Come on, smack me. Thank you. Five rock being thrown at me. Jerk. Oh, that one bounced. Oh, do I have to? Okay. Thank you, Corrin. Come on. Don't hit me. Screw you. I need to jump on your face. I just shove a bomb in your Oh. I shoved a bomb in your face. Awesome. I shoved a bomb in your brain. <laughs> we did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm, a sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? Playing it tough, like every witcher. Okay. I had no idea it'd be so big. Triss was right, it's mutated. Magically induced. I must get to work, collect the most valuable ingredients. What a shame so much will go to waste. Forgive me, time is of the essence. Farewell, then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Yeah. So, she's here for the gubbins. For the magical ingredients and such. Man. I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate the masterpiece of that grenade to the brain. Ah. Beautiful. Is there anything I can collect from you? I would kind of... Ooh, there is. It's Karen eyes, some Karen tissue, skin, and trophy. Brilliant. I want all of it. Thank you. I collected my fun stuff. You can have the rest of it. I guess. So that was fun. Got to climb up on a gigantic creature and throw a bomb in its brain. And realistically did it without the... Poison resistant potion, that was nice. But, I shall return. I think I need to talk to the clerk 
to get my reward, or was it to the merchant? Well, there is a quest marker for it, so uh, I guess I'll find out who I get to talk to about that reward. So yeah. Should be back in town somewhere. It is... Oh, it's the merchant. Okay. So I just need to walk back to town. Uh, again. Where am I going? Oh, right, right. Now I know where I am. But yeah. Uh, there should also be a journal in this that describes like the creatures I've killed and some background information in the journal. Yes. Like characters, locations. Um, I don't have any information for monsters, but I do have... Huh, oh. Yeah. Uh, tutorials, alchemy, and crafting and such. <laughs> but I should eventually get like, basically a beastery of information. Which is, again, yeah, it's much more useful in the third Witcher game, and much more robust. But nonetheless, it's still useful in this one. <laughs> you get more information out of the books and such, and more research out of this one than you do in the third one. More, more of the research is more or less kind of given to you in the, the third one. It's kind of assumed that the Witcher has a working encyclopedia of monsters. Or in this one you have the player discovers it on his own. Or on their own. Um Oh yes. I'm going to the merchant, which is on the entire other side of the town. And then after that, I have the random side quests of the contracts, which I don't know if I kinda of, don't really know if I want to do them or not, but I believe I can always come back, though I'm not entirely certain on that fact should be that version back there. Yes, you. Job done. The Kaelin's dead. And now it's Good ready. work. You've earned your reward. How much is my reward? Is that reward? I don't know. Ooh. That was a decent chunk of change. And I got a schematic for Kieran armor. I need hardened leather and some robust cloth in order to get a really cool leather armor. The Karen trophy adds to my vitality and also adds armor, so I will swap that out for my Drowner trophy. Awesome. Then, what's that done with? Assassin of Kings. Now what do I need to do? That was kind of the main quest. Well, oh. well. Hey, How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Skoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kieran Epesnelen, Yorbet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. That sounds like fun. As a character, I thoroughly enjoy She's very much an idealist. And very straightforward in her dealings with people in general. For the most part, specifically Geralt. What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. My one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Laredo's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. Now, yeah. then you don't mind me talking to him. Shut your traps. Um, Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, there. Dozed Should be that guy. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. Wakey, wakey, coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. And then... 
Look, oh, birdie's there. all wet. Hey, birdie, you get wet just looking at me. Get ready, birdie. Casting a sign. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam, on the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. Doo -doo. We're... Well, I'm not really fighting Laredo. He's kind of an ass, but... Um, how did, how did Laredo's goons catch Yorbeth's right-hand elf? I was betrayed. How else? There's a witcher. There's a witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met, where roses of remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. There was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorvith, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering, all for naught. Wow. That's an interesting development. Betraying the people that helped you out. Not that the Scoyteller aren't used to that. Um... Uh, let's see here. Why does he want let Yorbeth dead? Why does Duan want Yorbeth dead? He used us from the start. Our hatred. But he no longer needs Yorvath. Sees him as a thorn in his side. Though I don't know what Letho wants. So... Letho. He's the Kingslayer? Yes. What is Yorvith planning? What does Yorvith want? Why flotsam? Go plow yourself. That's kind of what I assumed he would answer with. And let's the tried and trusty you Jedi have to my tell trick. Me. I'm on your side. And if you say so. It works. Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom. In due time, Yorvith will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle. What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Oh, we got what we came for. What now? Yorvith. What if Yorvith already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynblade. Yorvath fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one, among the last. Fighting makes sense, now more than ever before. There is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change, for a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Flashback? Flashback! Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, never expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island.
shade of a memory from long ago. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance, growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorvith, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? It's always pleasant and sure of your company. Trips. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Shut your traps! Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, down. Coffer's dozed off. Okay, dude. Wakey wakey, Coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. I need to... No. Guess if I get off the bridge, I'll fall the trees. So. The Wild Hunt, which is also the title of the next game. Find out that the plot of the Wild Hunt and something to do with Geralt's amnesia. Uh, there are a few answers in this one, but most of the answers are in the third game. Uh, because it is essentially the conclusion of this uh, storyline. But the Wild Hunt is a. It's very much akin to. Um, the Northern Lights in our world, where they appear in the north and they travel, or they exist, but the Wild Hunt occurs during the moon, or the winter months of the year, and they will travel from north, from the cold areas, to the south, to the warmer areas. Men are people. Oh, hi there. Take that. Don't mind me. This is a gate to a city. There shouldn't be something this big here. But, um, the Wild Hunt takes people, and there's, it's not exactly known why, and it ends up being used as, like, a boogeyman story for kids to not go out. And most Southerners don't believe that the Wild Hunt is even real, but anyone from the North knows all too well that you do not go out at night when the Wild Hunt is about. Because they quite truly do summon, or they quite, they do take people. So, is that one of the ones I, yeah, it looks like one of the ones murdered already. Ah, no trap. So, the Wild Hunt is integral to this story. It's not quite known exactly. What is so important about it? But it is important nonetheless. So, learning about the memory that Geralt has lost, which it seems that he remembers something more about the, the Wild Hunt, and most specifically, he also remembers <sighs> his memories about Siri. I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests? Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. But, uh, and speaking of Siri, Siri is essentially a. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Oh. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. Well, the allergy first leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself was 